Yeah, first of all, I would like to say that uh, since you are a very well-known scientist uh, and a sincere supporter of uh, the dialogue between uh, and, uh, the science and religion, and also appreciate about the religious and the spiritual values, but uh, when we discuss such things, I uh, think okay, in terms of religious conception, the, the source is uh, about God. Uh, so as a scientist, I uh, could say anything like uh, uh, something about about the understanding about God. So I, I and maybe we can highlight. You want to know how do I, as a scientist, understand God? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, understanding God is very difficult. <laughs> uh, but I would say, well, so there's some spiritual force out there which has planned this universe and is affecting us, and I feel personally very I feel an inter a very close interaction personally. It's very important to me. As a, in science, I think it's a, a conception of inspiration and intuition, and it is a it is a very uh, wonderful idea. Uh, I think they appear from time to time. I think uh, in, in the minds of uh, I think the scientists like you. <laughs> it was one time you told me that uh, when you discovered it's a major ledger, and they got uh, this inspiration all of a sudden, and uh, some kind of revelation. The divine source, I would say it's some kind of a divine source. <coughs> so, uh, uh, in this conception, uh, according to the, the Vedanta, in the Hindu, Hindu tradition, you know, the, there is a, uh, there are uh, the three, uh, uh, three aspects of God. The one aspect is called uh, Brahman in Sanskrit language, called the impersonal aspect, just like Einstein's God, the, the, the impersonal aspect. Like a uh, beautiful laws of nature are the majestic. Uh, there's a there's a phenomenon in, in nature. But the second aspect uh, it is mentioned in the in our scriptures called uh, Paramatma. Paramatma is like a uh, super soul. Uh, in the in, in translation, can uh, Paramatma is a some kind of a uh, personal form of the of the Lord. It's kind of the expansion of the Lord. As well as Paramatma is a within every uh, living being, including the uh, small. Uh, in the, in ourselves, that is the inspiration or this intuition or this, uh, some of these uh, uh, hidden some kind of principles come from within. So uh, uh, I was wondering whether you have any anything to say on, on, on this conception. <laughs> conception of God. I think inspiration? we have to be very open-minded. I would yeah. say it's everything. <laughs> it's very it's everything. It's very difficult for us to define. God. And we but but so what is guiding us? I think this is, a, this is acceptable, right? What's that again? Some, some principle is guiding us or giving some, us. That's right. That's just some spiritual being, some spiritual idea there are guiding us. And uh, uh, we simply can't conceive it. There are many things we don't understand, <clears throat> such as what is a human? Where is a human? Are we up here somewhere? <laughs> Where is this person? <laughs> And uh, how do we have free will? How can we make free choices and so on? There are many things we don't understand. There are forces in nature and forces in our universe and so on we don't understand at all. We have to accept that idea that uh, mm -hmm. they're probably there, they're probably there, we can feel them, we sense them, but we don't understand. What is its purpose? Mm -hmm. and what is, why is the universe here? Mm -hmm. And why are we here? Mm -hmm. uh, very basic question. Uh, and I th think we should we should ponder it more and, and uh, take it very seriously mm -hmm. uh, and consider it. And uh, my own view is uh, God has formed us uh, and given us free will mm -hmm. to be somewhat somewhat like Him, to have some of His attributes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a uh, I think a scientist called uh, William Phillips. Uh, you might probably know him. Is he oh yes, Bill him? Phillips. Yes. Yeah. And I, I thought he's, uh, he's, he's very, uh, very uh, I, I found some statement from him. I think he got uh, the Nobel Prize in 1997. Yeah. And in that, uh, uh, that press conference, and he uh, said something very, very interesting. That I think I'll just uh, let's see from what he says. He says uh, that uh, um, he takes the, the deity personally, and he says, Einstein's God, who is really just like the laws of nature, is not for me, he said. I'm strongly <laughs> of the conviction, conviction that God is personal, and that is the foundation of my faith. And, uh, and in fact, he said, at the time of uh, that, uh, that uh, Nobel Prize, uh, that 
He said, I like to thank so many personalities. Also, I like, uh, I like to thank God. Uh, God, because He has given us this universe and uh, He has engaged us to study uh, that His laws. And so, in this way, He was, uh, uh, was thinking in terms of His personal aspect. So, I was, I was wondering, you know, do you have any comment on this? Well, I, I feel very much like Bill Phillips does. Uh, God is very personal, has a very personal interaction with us. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's very important. He's not some distant thing that just mm -hmm. created the universe and then left it alone. I think there's continuous interaction between God and all of this universe, and especially with us personally. Mm -hmm. And that's very important to our lives. And it is personal aspects actually it's a, uh, in, in, in our tradition, in the, in the Hindu, uh, in the Vedantic tradition, and this is regarded as the also highest. Yes. The, the personal aspect of God and the other aspect, imperson also impersonal aspect is also there. Mm -hmm. uh, just like uh, in this country, in the president uh, is sitting in the White House, but his uh, energies are spread all over the country. So his yeah. energies are like impersonal, but the person is sitting there. <laughs> well, interesting. God is God is everywhere. He yeah. influences everything. Yeah. But nevertheless, each each individual person has a strong interaction, mm -hmm. and that's true not only of your religion but also the Jewish and the mm -hmm. Christian religions. Mm -hmm. It was a very strong personal uh, effect, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe that and I feel that. Mm -hmm. I think this is a. This, I mean, this this, uh, this this is an harmony. I think of the major major religions. Mm -hmm. Except for, of course, the Buddhist uh, doesn't have uh, any conception of uh, God. <laughs> I think also the Hindu religion has never had a, never had a big clash between science and religion and, yeah. and, your, mm -hmm. and the Eastern religions. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the Western religions there has been a clash, but I think they're coming together again now, fortunately. Mm -hmm. And they must come together. No?